Hey guys, it's Scott again. We created Module 9 because we get asked questions all the time, how do I pack? And, uh, and this is one of the biggest questions that we want to be able to answer right out of the gate so you feel confident when you begin packing days before your trip. And so this module, how to pack, let's go ahead and go to the whiteboard. Uh, we'll go to some clips that we've got so you'll be able to see exactly how you need to pack in preparation for your trip. So as we get into our packing list, uh, even something as simple as packing, let me pray for us as we get started. God, help us to be good stewards of the resources that you've given us, the opportunity that we have to mobilize those resources for your kingdom to make disciples. Help us be faithful in that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we'll, uh, this shouldn't take terribly long, but I do think it'll be helpful to give you kind of a visual uh, in terms of our packing procedures and what we ask you to do. There's some very uh, important information in here I think will be helpful as you get ready to pack. So this is not a willy-nilly process. This is a very specific uh, process that we ask you to follow in terms of uh, your packing. So you've got your listening guide there. First thing we do, even before you pack, is you pray. Please ask God for wisdom on how you do this. So let's go, uh, and a lot of this is in your mission trip information form that you went through uh, through one of the earlier modules. Um, but nonetheless, we thought it would be a, a nice visual presence for you to be able to see a lot of this. So in terms of packing, uh, we do want to show you some of the things visually that um, you can certainly pack. On the left-hand side, uh, very important, is a shirt. So this is a, a shirt, uh, short sleeve, just common shirt. A lot of guys wear something like this. Ladies, you'll wear something uh, very similar to this. So pretty light. In terms of the actual, uh, in, in terms of the actual weight of the material, and then this is what we'd ask you not to wear: some short, sort of short sleeve. Guys, uh, this is a lady short sleeve, but even muscle shirts or things like that. Please, uh, let, let's just lay off that stuff for the guys and for the ladies. Um, a lot of times, this would not be deemed as appropriate. So, uh, short short sleeves would be much more appropriate for where you're going, and light material as much as you can. In terms of shoes, tennis shoes are great. Uh, sandals are great. Um, you know, open toe, that's fine. Just make sure it's got a substantive base with some straps and things like that. Uh, more of a lady sandal. And then flip-flops, even though you'll see a lot of folks over there wearing flip-flops, um, not really recommended uh, just because, um, you know, they tend to fall off and sometimes you could be walking in areas where you're not quite sure what's down there. And it's just a lot better, um, we think, that uh, you go with some of these other options that are available. Okay. Um, and then, by the way, ladies, read over a lot of the packing list because there are a lot of lady instructions uh, around that. So let's move on. In terms of what you should make sure you pack, obviously, please pack your Bible uh, so you can spend time in God's Word along with a journal and pen. We are asking each of your trip leaders to ask you to journal, uh, in fact, to force you to journal. Because what will happen is when you get back, uh, you'll get a ton of questions. How was your trip? How was your trip? And you find yourself answering everything differently every time. Whereas if you tend to write things down, A, you can show it the actual journal to people and say, hey, just read this. I think it'll give you a better, more in-the-moment picture of what I saw, especially for spouses or parents or family, people that are under your roof. This is a really great sustainable option to be able to, um, to kind of show, uh, to really show folks, you know, that this was what I was recording while I was in the moment. Uh, that's frankly why the Bible is so powerful. It shows you in the moment uh, exactly what was happening. All right. Uh, also, for money, we ask everybody to, uh, if you're going to bring money, bring it in $100 bill denominations. Why? It's because we get a better uh, exchange rate on that. And also, after or during uh, money that was printed during or after 2006 is the best date we found for the best exchange rate. And then uh, clothes, sunglasses, bug spray, toiletries. Make sure your toiletries are um, onboard approved. Uh, very, very important, three ounces or less. And a lot of times they need to be in a see-through pouch uh, in order to bring them on board. Earplugs is something I highly recommend, by the way, because there's a lot of loudness, a lot of noise. And so uh, just bringing earplugs is important. Okay, we're going to give you a one uh, a ratio that I think will be helpful. And uh, that ratio goes something like this. For every pound that is not packed, imagine you've just left $4 on the table. Where do we get that number from? A lot of times the airlines will charge you somewhere in the neighborhood of about 100 or excuse me, $200 uh, for an extra bag weighing 50 pounds. Well, that's four, four bucks a pound. And so any poundage that you do not use, any poundage that you do not use um, 
essentially it's like we're leaving four dollars on the table. And so if you've got a checked in bag, you are allotted up to 50 pounds. Let's do everything we can possibly do to max out that 50 pounds uh, with, with things. If you don't know what else to bring, call uh, your trip leader and let them know and they can provide you with some information from their discussions with uh, some of our team members that are already on the ground. In fact, sometimes we have uh, other Westerners living on the ground and uh, boy, they would love to know some of the available weight and space that you have in your checked bags. So how do you pack? Uh, well, we ask you again to pray and pack smart. So there are four pieces of items that you will be bringing. The first is a uh, kind of a, a personal carry-on. And this is a very, uh, you know, you'll pack uh, medicine in here. You'll pack maybe a few little toiletries in there, um, some gum, some tunes, some uh, pen, books, a few things in there. So that'll be important to pack. Uh, there will also be kind of a, either a duffel bag or a roll-on carry-on, something like that that you can carry on. By the way, we highly recommend uh, packing a change of clothes in here just in case your checked bags don't make it, which has happened before. And if your checked bags don't make it, by the way, there's a high likelihood that you will not get them. There is not drive-through service from the airlines to Eggway, which is seven hours away. So uh, if you don't uh, get your checked bags, um, then you'll need an, a change of clothes uh, in, in uh, this personal carry-on that you're carrying with you. The third piece of luggage is a checked bag. Again, you've got 50 pounds to pack in here, so please max that out. And if you've not maxed it out, let your trip leader know so they can get some more supplies to pack in there for you. And then finally is going to be either another checked bag like it or a checked box, highly ta or heavily taped, and you'll put uh, helps uh, address information on here. Your trip leader knows what to put in there. And also, whatever you do, try to bring a packing list. Uh, do, do a packing list of things that are in that box, not to the T, just kind of general like clothes, books, things like that. And just keep that with you. Sometimes they ask us for that information. So a personal carry-on, a uh, an, an, another kind of personal roll-on, if you will, and then a uh, an up to 50 pound uh, checked bag, which we hope that you'll pack that in there. And then, uh, of course, a box of some sort that you'll use to pack another 50 pounds or so. Now, just as one quick reminder, make sure all the bag tags uh, are checked through ABV, your destination airport, or if you go to Lagos LOS, make sure you see those letters before your bag goes onto the belt uh, from your originating destination. Even if they tell you, no, this is just going to your connecting, no, 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 no. They have to push it through to either ABV or LOS. And when you get that bag tag, if you and your trip leader are leaving from the same airport, give your bag tag to your trip leader. You have to have those uh, at your final destination. If you're not at the same origination as your trip leader, make sure you put those bag tags in a very, very uh, private place and uh, have those ready once you get to the uh, to your uh, to either Abuja or Lagos and ready to exit with your bags. You'll need to uh, you'll need to check that in there. All right, guys. Hope that's helpful. And uh, you just got uh, I think one more module left with policy awareness. Unless we end up uh, adding more modules to this by the time this is recorded. So you guys are doing a great job. Appreciate it.